Yesterday, we went through this envelope to see what was saved in the month of April. Are you ready to see where I am allocating all of those funds? Come on, let's get into it. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. We are here. Happy May 1st. Okay, this is the first of two videos. So look for the second video today. I promise you, you're going to want to be a part of that. Yesterday, we went through our blue envelope and we went through all the monies and all the challenges and added it all up. So what do I do? I write it on scrap paper first and then I put it into just a girl boss building her empire. Now, don't laugh. I purchased this book from Walmart many years ago, right? Never used it, came across it. It was like, it works perfectly for this journey, right? This, this budget journey, this savings journey. So every month, this is 2023s, but every month I allocate, and this is all 2024, how much was saved and really where does that money go? In April, we saved, oh, I've got to readjust. Shoot. Okay, I was doing math and I wasn't mathing correctly. Okay. We saved 4262. 1000 of it went straight into emergency. So that leaves 3262. All right. We're going to fly by the seat of our pants now because all the math that I did prior to this video is out the window. This is all the money from that envelope. We're going we're gonna to count it because that's what we do here. By me counting it and us looking at it, we are manifesting it to us. Did y'all see this? I love this because he's my go-to guy right now. He is the spark that definitely sparks my imagination. All right. Just had to say that. We're going to bring in our cash trade. These are my sinking fund binders. Now, we have $1,000 that went straight into emergency, and I will show it to you. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do it this way. You're going to double check me. I'm going to zoom in. All right. As long as we have these amounts, that total is going to be this. All right. We're going to count. And we'll count backwards. So we should have 75. One dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75 dollars in singles. In twos, we have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72 dollars in two dollar bills. In fives, we're just going to count, we should have um, 20, 40, 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105. We should have 105 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, we shouldn't. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
Day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6, day 7, day 8, day 9, 40 is $200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. $345 in fives. In tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. That's $620. Now in 20s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90. $900 in 20s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 250 in 50s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1,000 in $100 bills. 4262. $1,000 went straight to emergency. So emergency is in, I think it's in number two. No, it's not. Okay. Emergency is in number four. We finished emergency um, on 324. No, we didn't. I don't even know what day we finished emergency. So now we are heading thousand and this is going to be separate so we have 1000 for April 2024 and we're adding one thousand dollars which is this money right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten not sure what I am doing with this yet I don't know if it is going into the um, high yield savings account Last time I checked the high yield savings in March, it had gained $7 in interest. Yes, of course, it gained interest. But I don't know, I'd like to have money sitting on the side for just a little bit, but I might be putting that in there. I might. So 1000 has gone right off the bat. We don't need this right now. I'm gonna move that to the side. What we do need to do is this. I'm going to grab my Donna binder and I'm going to come over to my sinking funds spreadsheet. This is for sale and it is on my.com. It's blank. You get to fill it in. It comes in sinking funds and it also comes in credit cards. So it's blank and you can use this for credit cards. I personally use it for my credit card debt and we're gonna get into it because that's what's on this sheet of paper. So stay with me, we have a lot going on. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button. If you decided to subscribe and stick around, I greatly appreciate it.
We are done with January, February, March, and basically April. So how this works for me is April's monies came from March. So May's money came from April. So today is May 1st. That's why we're working on May. These are the monies that we are depositing. I'm going to grab my first binder and we are going to start with birthdays. Inside of birthdays, we should have $600. We're starting with a balance of six, even though it says seven, one, two, three, four, five, 55, 57, 59, um, 595, 96, 97, 98, 99, 600. Why? Because we had a birthday this month. So I got to pull money out and I had the money already. Now, July, uh, June, we have two birthdays coming up. We have $600 and then um, we're, we're doing good financially um, birthday wise. I want to have a little bit extra because I have a feeling that um, <laughs> Minnie's birthday is going to cost me a little bit more than it normally does. So birthdays has six. I would like to add 150 to birthdays. So that means that birthdays will have 750. So what I want to do is this. I would like to grab 20, 45, um, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars. I want to grab 50. I'm trying to make it so that my life in the envelopes is um, workable. Right? So this is our this is our six. One, two, three, four, five, and one hundred and six. I would like to add one fifty today. And honestly, I'm gonna take uh the two fifties and take this back, and we should have seven fifty in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fifty. I am definitely ahead. Now, I don't need the thousand. This is probably never, ever going to be fully funded. Why? Because as long as I have it in advance, it's always going to be good for me. I hope that makes sense. So in April, I had a birthday. I had, I, I need $100 usually. They get the $100. They, they do get a little bit more here and there. But for the most part, it's a $100 gift. And as long as I've got the money in here, I'm good. This year, we had a couple of extra birthdays that we were a part of. So I took the money from here, even though I did not add it into my, my amount that I needed for the year. But because I save ahead, I'm good. I'm so good. Now, New Year's. Um, New Year's is actually fully funded. I put $200 aside for New Year's in case we wanted to go out to dinner on New Year's Eve. You look right here, that yellow line means that it is fully funded. Now, Valentine's Day, there is a fully funded card in there, but that just lets me know that it was fully funded for this year. I have $70 in here. It's a $300 goal by next year. I wanna give Valentine's Day $30. So I'm gonna give a 20 and a 10. We came in with 70, we're adding 30, that means we will have $100. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have $100 saved. Adding 30, and we have 100. Easter. I have $25 that I would like to give to this. We're coming in with $100. we are adding $25. We should have a balance of $125. Now, Easter, my goal for Easter, I think that is $500. Why? Because if Easter gets fully funded, right, and, I've, and, and I decide to host it, then the money is there for me to have the, for the groceries. If I don't host it and my daughter-in-law does, that money then gets rolled over into the next coming up envelopes, which I did in the last video. 
we are at 125. Do I budget higher? Oh, yes, I do. 25, and that means there's 125 in here. And that's okay because then I can pull it if I need it for the next coming month. Somebody asked, how do you do your envelopes? I just tape the sides of them. Nothing fancy, nothing at all. Gardening. We are up to gardening. And I did allocate $300 for gardening, just in case. But what I want to do is, oh, I decided not to give gardening any money. Okay, gardening is done. We have $300 in there. We're adding nothing. We have a balance of three. Now, it is May 1st, and usually after Mother's Day is when I will go to the nursery and buy vegetables for the garden. I'm going to be very careful on what I choose. I usually go crazy, and then it gets... Gardening is not my forte. Not at all. Mother's Day, we have $600 in here. One, two, three, four, five... 52, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Now, Mother's Day, I usually give Kaylee 100, and then I give myself, I'm going to gift myself $100 out of here. And then for Father's Day, TJ gets 100 and John gets 100. So am I ahead of the game? 100%. Am I giving this any money? No, not at all. This is good right now, and I'm not fully funding it for the year because I don't know if I'm going to roll that money and keep it in here for next year, or am I going to roll it into barbecue? Not sure. Now, if you follow me, I my next envelope is barbecue. Barbecue happens more than this in my household, but Memorial Day, the kids' birthdays, because we piggyback Vinny and Camden, my grandson, and then 4th of July, we piggyback with Kaylee's birthday. We celebrate both those on one day. John's birthday and then Labor Day and my birthday get coincided, and then a little bit extra. But an average of $200 of barbecue is what I am funding it at, but the way the grocery bills are, I don't think that's enough. Right now I have $400 in there. One, two, three, four. Why do I have four? And I have 500 written down. Ah, this is why we write things down. We have $500 allocated. And if our first barbecue is May, we have it. May and June. Barbecue today is getting $200. Look at me. Didn't expect that. One, two. $200 is going into barbecue. So that means we have $700 for barbecues. Coming in at five, adding two, we now have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're, we're, we're doing well. I think we're ahead. So two, four, six would get me till August. We're gonna be fully funded this year. Like we're gonna, we're gonna be ahead this year. We're gonna be good. So good. Halloween is going to get twenty five. Twenty five dollars for Halloween, and we got a twenty and a five. Halloween has. 125 in there. I'm giving it that. So we'll have 150 in here now. 125 comes in. We're adding 25. We got 150. By doing this, it keeps me, it keeps me um, focused. It really does. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 15. $150 for Halloween. Again, don't know if I'll use the entire thing, but I will be set. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I know we can we can hit this at the end just like we did last year, but 
Thanksgiving has 250 in it. And I'm going to give it 50. It's got 250, adding 50, so we'll be at 275. No. Yes. Okay. My math, I did not math correctly. 250 and 50 equals 300. Like I said, this is a slow and steady process. Why? Because putting your money in the right sinking funds to, to get you ahead, do the ones that are coming up first and then add slowly to the ones behind it. Have more in the first one. You don't use it all. Roll it into the next one. Almost like the Dave Ramsey effect. We have $300 going in Thanksgiving. And my goal for Thanksgiving is $600. No way. It's got to be more than that. I'm changing that goal to $700. Only because of grocery inflation. We're changing it. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Seven, six, seven hundred now. Christmas. Oh, Amazon. Um, I do believe that I'm giving each one of these 20, 40, 60. I'm going to give each one of those $20. So Amazon's going to get 20. And that brings it to 50. Coming in with 30, adding 20. And now we have 50. This isn't a high priority for me. It really is not. 20, 30, 45, 50. This is for the just in case. Amazon, um, I do spend money regularly on Amazon. Could I possibly be like, have this money set aside to get one of my orders for free? Yes, that is definitely a goal. But because I use my Amazon Chase Rewards card, I use that card all month long. I usually have 5% back. But if I choose a later date to get my order, like if I'm not in a rush, it'll give me 6% back. I pay my credit cards in full every month. I don't carry a debt on those. The debt that you're going to see is older credit card debt at 0% financing. So I'm really up and running on, I'm 100% good. And we'll get into that more and more. So if you watch me, you're going to see um, that I piggyback things. I use things to my advantage. I want rewards for the monies. See, you use cash and you're not getting anything back for your money. If I use the credit card and I know I have the money set aside, I'm getting five to 6% back. That's better sometimes than the, um, high yield savings. So uh, you got to play with things. You got to know when your, um, credit cards, and date is, and when you do date is, it's so, it's a game for me now. Truly a game. We're adding $20 to Black Friday. So inside of Black Friday, we should have $120. 12, add that zero at the end, becomes 120 Do I usually do Black Friday shopping? Not at all. I just want it for that in case because I am a gadget girl. I love organization. Maybe something will be there that spikes my interest. I'll have it. Cyber Monday. I'm adding 22. It says we have 100 in there. We should have 120 again. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will add the 20. And now we have 120 for a $200 goal. I don't have gold. Actually, you know what? Let's make each one of them $200. What the heck? Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Christmas. Am I adding money to Christmas? I actually am. Inside of Christmas right now, we have $400. I am adding $100, and that's going to bring my total to $500. Just saying, Donna, you got a whole binder full of Christmas challenges. One, two, three, four, and five. We got $500 saved here. My goal for Christmas is $3,000. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just grab that Christmas binder. Let's grab it, right? Because honestly, I need to, to, I don't know what this is bringing me. Let's look at this. I made each one of my envelopes $100 except for the Advent. So Advent is $325. And I have two of those in there. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Counted that already. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fifteen hundred dollars. This is a savings of twenty-one fifty. I'm just gonna mark that on the back. When I'm done with this, I will have twenty-one fifty, right? Twenty-one fifty. I now have five hundred dollars saved for Christmas in that envelope. I'm at twenty-six fifty. I still need three hundred and fifty dollars to be fully funded. 350 and we'll get there we will get there we have until december do you see the way my mind works totally totally works that way all right christmas is good i am 100 percent done okay sinking fund binder number two auto registrations and inspections now, today's the 30th. I actually have to get off the, oh, today's the 1st. Uh, but I'm filming on the 30th. Shh, don't tell nobody. I actually have to do some auto registrations today. Today. The goal is $800, but registrations and inspections. I, I need to do the math on this for a second. Because... I do believe that our inspections just went up. It just went up. But I guess I, I included it. So I want, it says here I want $800. Okay, I'm going to trust my mathing. I'm going to trust my mathing. Uh, that's for the 1928. And then, see, I keep notes on these cards. These are also on my dot com. Great way to stay organized, right? So after I added in all the registrations, I need 776. I raised it to 800. We have 550 in here. How exciting. Auto reg, oh, this has 650. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 650. I do have 650. I was looking at that. We have 650 in here. Oh, to be fully funded, we only needed fifty dollars. This is so cool, so so cool. Okay, so it says I only need fifty dollars to be fully funded. So I'm going to take fifty, adding that in. So that means, oh no, it's not. Uh, you know what? Let's change this. Um, five, six. Oh, we have six hundred dollars in here, don't we? We have six hundred dollars in here. Six fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, fifty. It's six fifty. Okay. We had six fifty in here. I did not have six fifty written down on here. We're just going to change this to 650, right? Because I must have put in a hundred dollars last month and did not write it down, but I wrote it down on here. 650. Let's add. Let's add the 150. Ooh, yes. Let's add the 150. This is almost like a ring the bell moment. Thank you for sticking around. If you're still sticking around with me, can you do me a favor? Hashtag auto reg so I know that you're with me. We are adding, we're coming in with 650, we're adding 150. That means we have $800 and we're at 10, one, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, $800. Oh, $800. Let's see, 
Let me take that out. $800. We are fully funded. I'm not even going to worry about writing that in there because as of right now, I'm going to put a little asterisk in it. It will be fully funded, but, but, but this is the truth. It's fully funded for this year, right? Fully funded. I'm in April. I still want to add money to this for the rest of the year to be fully funded again, right? You always got to keep filling it up. But I know that if I stop putting money in this right now, I'm good for the rest of this year. Oh, that works. All right. We're good because I do have registrations that have got to come out. Oh, what a day. All right. Car maintenance. I do have car maintenance, car maintenance. We have $100 in here. And I'm going to put 100 in here. Why? Because... Can I excuse myself? My son needs me. Um, truth be told is that the 2013 Ford Explorer that we put the engine in, we had to get coils. Huh. We put the coils in and then the catalyst, catalytic converters went and I had to buy two new ones. So still paying for that. And then he's working on it. So I don't know what he's going to cost for me to at the end. So if I have a couple of dollars set aside, um, is it worth it for that car to have gotten all that? Yes. Am I disappointed? Not at all. So we had $100 going into this. We're adding a hundred. We now have $200 because I, once that car is fully redone, it's, it's going to be a great second vehicle for this household. I'm a firm believer in that. Inside of oh, tractors, just they slay me, slay, slay, slay me. How come I don't have? Where is this? Farm equipment. I don't see farm equipment on my list. Am I missing it? Oh. Farm equipment is supposed to be here. All right. We're going to have to adjust. I have a little bit of a whoopsie daisy. So farm equipment is supposed to be where Haggerty is. How come I did not catch that? So we'll write farm equipment down here. It is a thorn in my side. Haggerty has 110 in it on Haggerty. Farm equipment. I'm going to rewrite this today. Farm equipment had 80 and then we added 50. 80 and then 50 is 130. That's not what I have in there. Okay. We're going to start with what farm equipment had. Farm equipment's balance. Am I missing it somewhere? Bear with me. That is wild. All right, let's count how much we have in here. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have a hundred and ten dollars. And in farm equipment, I said did not allocate for that. I'm going to totally be off. I'm going to give it 20. We give farm equipment 20. That's what we're going to do. Um, so that makes it 130. All right, $20 going into farm equipment. 
We're adding 20, so that means we have 130. Ooh. 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. $130 into farm equipment. I need to just put an asterisk right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Haggerty comes out this month. This is truly exciting. Oh, it came out last month. So sorry. Uh, Haggerty came out. Totally done for... 2024. Now we have to save up $1,600. Oh, I change that to 17. $1,600 goal. All right. We're going to leave it. We're going to change it to 17. Oh, I did not use that. We're going to cross that out. We're changing it because inflation. You just never know. We're going to make that 17. And we already have five. One, two, three, four, 42, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Haggerty is going to get $100. We're adding $100 to Haggerty. Came in with five. Adding 100, we now have six. One, two, three, four, five, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Six hundred dollars in Haggerty. All right, that's a goal. We can do that. Property taxes is going to get one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. We have 700 in there, adding 100, so that means we have 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, home improvements, what are we giving this? I'm going to give it 25. Home improvements comes with $100 in it, adding 25, and that makes it 125 in there. When we get to credit card debt, I'm going to discuss this also. What do we have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 5. We're adding, we must have had money in there. Must have added 25, and now we're adding 25, so that's 125. Oh, that's 100. You know what? We just have 125 in there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 5. 125 in there is correct. You know what I could go for right now? Oh, I could go for a Snickers bar. Oh, that would be like such an energy boost. Glasses. Glasses, I'm going to give $25 to. 25 25 into glasses. We had 150 No, we did not. We had 200 We had $200 in glasses. And now we're adding 25 so we have 225 225 inside of glasses. Towards the end of this month, we are going to the eye doctor, so I'm hoping that my glasses don't cost so much. I'm a cheapskate. I don't get the most expensive. Not at all. We did get pool supplies. I do have to check to see what we spent on them. Then that money will come out. But I always like to have money in pool because you just never know. We're going to add $50 into pool. Right now we have $300. That means we have $350. But by the time you see this next time, there'll be less in here. In fact, I'm going to break one of these down to 20s. 
two, four, six, eight, ten. And then you know what? I'm going to break this 50 into tens because one, two, three, four, and five. When I go to take that money out, um, I don't have to worry about making change. Yeah. So I just got interrupted again. I'll, I'll fill you in on this one. So um, Johnny D messaged me. I'll tell you, having this watch really does make a little bit of a difference in my life when it comes to my men messaging me and me filming videos and having my phone on silent. You know, when it comes to my family, I never want to be unreachable. And it just, it works. So I have an old kitchen piece of furniture up for sale and it's been up for sale since probably December. A Hooser cabinet. It's not the real name brand Hooser, but it's a baking cabinet. Vintage. And I had it up for sale for 400 and I guess somebody messaged John and asked if I would take 300 So honestly, I would take 300 get rid of it, and then I would have $300 to stuff in savings challenges. Isn't that great? All right. We have inside a pool 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 35. 350 dollars. And he, he gave me the thumbs up. If you were on the live the other night, you know we had the conversation about the thumbs up. Some people think that is not a good thing. But if you ever see me give the thumbs up, just know it's from happy days. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So goofy. So goofy. Um, we're going to add $30 into hair. We're adding 30. We have um, 100. Adding 30. So that means we'll have 130. Don't know. Summer's coming and having in the pool and chlorine. I really don't tr try coloring my hair very much. It's mostly up in a, a messy bun or a ponytail or a baseball hat. So mm, I don't think so. And I don't think I have any place that I have to be that's fancy. So. I'm golden. Nothing inside of this, but medical, I would like to give medical 20. Nothing inside of this. And medical comes in with 100, adding 20. And this is for the deductible at the beginning of the year. I'm going to add 20. 5, 7, 9, 11, 12. $120 saved. And honestly, I don't know what that deductible is. I don't. I, part of me thinks it's two hundred dollars. We have another binder down. Like I said, these are slow and steady videos. Slow and steady. Moving on to sinking fund binder number three. Now these are non high priority. Really starts with number one for me, right? These are not high priority, but they're a priority, right? I am up to, I'm going to fold my cheat sheet in half because my eye wants to go. What's funny is I sit here and I go through what I want to save into what envelope. And then believe it or not, as I'm recording, I change it. I do. I change it. Out the window. Chewies. Chewies, I have 25 in, but I'm only going to add 20. I'm changing it up. We got 125. I'm adding 20, and we'll have 140 in, in it. Again, what does this do for me? This gets me an order ahead. That, that's basically what I do this for. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 5. $145 which makes me realize I've got to go check my auto ships. Mm -hmm. Groomer. There's a lot of money in Groomer, but that's okay. And I don't think that um, I'm adding 20. Usually my grooming expenses is really about the cat. Zippy the cat is a part Maine Coon, 
and he usually goes and gets shaved. But since I've been shaving him, I don't shave him once a year. It's almost every other year. And let me tell you something, to shave him is over $100. It's $150 to shave a cat. Uh-uh. So if I can push it off every other year, I do. We're adding 20. So basically, it's really just Texas who gets groomed. And to, to groom the dog is $40. Yep, $40. So we should have 270 inside of the groomer. And 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Two hundred and seventy dollars saved. I don't have a set goal for that, do I? It says two hundred, but I'm okay. We're gonna keep just adding to it. The vet, which is animal care. Actually, in the month of May, Texas needs to go to the vet for his checkups. So I'm gonna give this fifty dollars. I'd rather be safe than sorry. We have 300, we're adding 50, and now we have 350. I know, I didn't write it on the cards on the last ones. Oh well. So I am adding 50, and we should have 350. One, two, so that's 20, 10, 25, 30, 32, 34, 35. $350 for the vet bill. vacation vacation okay this this envelope is truly exciting if you're still with me hashtag vacation just want to know you're with me i literally now i have my notes here check this out the cruise should cost us 35.56 the spa package which i have not ordered yet would be 600 totally on the fence with that one that's all about johnny d um and then spending monies the credit card will be charged May 17th, but I asked him to already charge my credit card. So he charged the credit card, and pretty soon this money's going to come out to pay off that credit card, and then I got to continue saving for whether I do the spa package or spending money. Yeah, that's my goal. I want to be ahead. So vacation, I'm giving it $100. So we had 33.25. I'm giving it 100, so we should have 34.25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34.25. And here's a funny one. Here's a funny one. We're in Home Depot the other day. And I always say this. We live in a small town. So one of the girls that works at Home Depot, she's like, she came on a cruise a couple of years ago with us. And she's like, are you guys going on the cruise in, I think it's in January. She's like, they're going to, it's, a, it's like a 10 day cruise. And they're doing like Puerto Rico and St. Martin, St. Thomas, all those. And John's like, no, but we'll look into it. I get outside of Home Depot. We get in the car. He goes, oh, we got to look into that cruise. I look at him and go, no, no, no. He goes, why not? I'm like, are you out of your flipping mind? I'm like, we're not even done with this cruise. I'm still paying for it. I'm not piggybacking another cruise. We just got the bathroom done. I got to pay for the bed. Enough already. I'm like, this man drives me absolutely crazy. Absolutely. Like, he's like, but he's like a, a sad puppy dog. He's like, why? I'm like, oh my gosh. But when you have, when you're in a relationship where one person does the bills and the other one doesn't want anything to do with it, they have no understanding. None. Zero. I'm like, no, not doing it. I'm like, Gotta let me breathe, babe. All right, inside of appliances, we have 50. I'm adding, I, I just reached for it. I'm thinking I want 50. I'm adding 50. Why? Because I'm adding it because I would like to eventually 
get a new dishwasher. I am not getting a new dishwasher until my credit card for Home Depot is gone. And I want the monies. I want, I want it. I want it here. That's it. That's my goal. My dishwasher does not heat dry my dishes. Does it drive me crazy? Yes. Is it broken? No. Am I buying a new one today? Absolutely not. I would like to be prepared. My washing machine, my dryer, my hot water heater, and my refrigerator are all new. I'm good right now. Disney. This money's coming out soon. Why? Because I went to Disney. I spent more than what was in this envelope. But I think I said I would give it $50. I don't even think I have Disney on here. I don't. Disney should be down here. Let's add Disney. Inside of Disney, I had 267. And I wanted to add 50 towards the credit card debt, which I have, that I spent money with. 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 310, 15, 16, 17, 317, adding 50, and we have 317, and that's a nice chunk to put towards what I spent. Crazy, right? Good. This is now complete. In here on my star notes, which is a savings in itself. Don't touch that. Uh-uh. That's, that's like its own savings challenge. Last envelope or binder. Oof. I feel like this has been crazy, but these are long videos, but they're good videos. Peel box, I'm going to give $15 to. $15, and in here, I think I made a mistake. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, we must have added 15 last time, made it 100. So I'm going to change this. <clears throat> um, it's $82 yearly. It expires May 31st. So that means that bill is going to come into play. I have $100 in here. I'm going to add $25. And that means we have $125 and we have additional savings for the next time around. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's why it's important for me to have this because when I glance at it prior to uh, coming in to do this video, it, I'm looking at these numbers to adjust. And it's not good that I forget. All right, blink. This is going to get 20. This is my camera system for the house. We're adding 20. Let's see if we had how much we had in here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 5. We had 125, which was correct. And I said I was going to add 20. And that's 145. I need 250. I need 125 by August, which we're good at, right? We got now. And now we're working on November. Which, you know what? I say it's for TJ's house, but I might not pay it. Sometimes I feel generous, and other times, not so generous. Sometimes, you know, I make them, and he can. He can. Sometimes I just like to pay an extra bill for them here and there. But that doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. I put the money aside. Okay, cricket. I don't know how much this bill is. It's, and I think it's in August. Part of me thinks it's $100. Do you know how much the Cricut subscription costs annually? Leave me a message in that description box below. I am going to give Cricut 
$20. $20, and that means we have $55 saved. Came in with 35, added 20, got 55. We're good. Slow and steady, we got time. Subscriptions. This one is pure torture. This should be $300 fully funded. McAfee is in January. They all come out in January. Triple A comes out in June, which is coming up, but I have no idea how much that is. Shoot. You know what? Part of me thinks I just saw that today. Mm -hmm. I did. I just saw it today in a notebook. Triple A renewal uh, Donner's June, TJ is January, and it does not tell me. Ugh. I will look it up. I really should. That's that's a priority. Um, I have a hundred dollars in here, fifty, seventy, eighty, five ninety five, a hundred. Let's add twenty five. Triple A, triple A. Subscription. It's adding twenty five. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add forty. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add forty, and that means we have one forty. I just want to be ahead. Forty, and that's gonna change everything else from here. You're probably saying, "What? What am I changing?" Um, and, and you know what? Maybe we come back and add to this. But I have goals for this money, and that's why you stick around and watch to see what am I actually doing with all this. Welding is going to get 25. We have 100, I think we have 100. We have 100 and I'm giving it 25. And that means we have 125. One time a year, tank renewal rental gets $80. Then miscellaneous is $300. In March, I took $100 out of that. Five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, five. Something's not mathing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it is. So we had $100 in there. So I must have had $25. We had $100. Now we added $25 and we have $125. We're good. I have a 380 goal. Uh, I don't even know when that's due. I just have the money sitting here. And then they'll tell me, the men will tell me, I need to go get the tanks filled and it's going to be this amount of money. But each year I get smarter with what's due when it's due because I'm focused on it. Now this, on the other hand, I'm still learning this one. Go daddy. We have so many dot coms, so much that I'm, I, I'm not organized enough in that. I need to be organized, but I'm not. Adding 25, and we should have $45 in here. Because I wasn't ahead for when it came out this year. I was not. Um, we had 20. I'm adding 25. 20. 25 makes 45. Love to be fully funded for that one eventually. All right. Um, this is for our dues um, and for our, our cards and stickers and things like that. John's dues, I have to pay differently. I, my dues come out of my, my check. He, I have to pay $40 a year. Sometimes that goes up. And then between cards and stickers, I, I'm just overshooting this amount. I am. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, five. We are fully funded for this year, but I'm going to give it ten. I'm going to give it ten, and we'll work towards next year. I wasn't going to give it money, but I'm going to give it ten. And we had 125, added 10, and now we got 135. And I do have an FF over here, but I'm still going to add monies. And because it happens, 
We are adding $50 to this, 20, 40, 50. And this is just a slow and steady in addition to the 100, um, to the emergency fund. I think that this should be 500, but as long as I get there, we're gonna get there. Five, seven, nine, 100. It should get more, it really should. It happens, had 50, we're adding 50, and now we have 100 just in case. The 100 envelope challenge, um, we had 100, we had 107, 1,007, we're adding 1,000, now we have 2,007. I am not giving anything, oh yes I am, I'm giving $20 to Tiffany's. I wasn't going to, but I guess I should think of myself. And now we'll have $40 in there. Are there things that I'm looking for? Of course. Do I need it? No. Should I? Yes. But you know what? We've got that self-care going. So maybe when that's done in um, December 8th, that might be a great thing for me to add that money to. We are done. We are done. And now we have all of this money to be accounted for. Now we're moving on to math. I hope that you are still with me because it's kind of important. Now we're going to start with math and we're going to see if what we sank is equals up to what's left in the cash tray. Now I'm doing it a little different this, this time around because I really want my numbers to be good. I just added everything that we sank and it came to $27.85. That's including the $1,000 that went into emergency fund. So now we have 100 in hundreds. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. We have 38. Um, we have no 50s. $380. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. We actually used a couple of those, right? 53. We did not touch any of the twos, right? So we should have 72 in twos, and we should have 75 in five in singles. I don't know. Yeah, we did touch these. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that's three hundred and twenty dollars. Three twenty. Let's see if our math adds up to 1477. 100, 380, 530, 320, 72, and 75. 1477. Oh, that is so awesome. Now, this is the debt that I have to have paid off by December 2024. Why do I have to have this paid off by December 2024? Because that's the 0% financing dates. My debt comes with 0% financing. These are the dates that they have to be finished by. Ta-da. Now, Sears, in the beginning of April, had $2,750 in debt. I have $700 left on that. That didn't need to be paid off until uh, October 2024. Home Depot first portion because all my Home Depot bills are staggered with interest rates. 
with, with the interest, the zero percent interest, and the dates that they are due. So eight eleven needs to be done by August, and three ninety two. Um, I do. Oh, three ninety two is in December, and then Discover is also in December. All right. We only have fourteen seventy seven left. I thought I was gonna. I, I thought I was gonna wipe this um, nineteen oh three out. Right? I really did. But. Wanted to give money to the 100 Envelope Challenge. Really did. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, see, this is where the struggle is real. Real. All right, no matter what. Seven hundred is coming out of here, right? Seven hundred. We're taking seven. Um, 10, we're taking 100, the 380, oh, we're not doing it that way. Let's do it this way since it's got to go back to the bank. Let's do 75 and 72, right? And 320. That is 467, 467, four, 467, 467, and we'll take 230 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Take 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. You know what? If we take twenty four, if we take twenty four, take seven dollars back. Five, six, seven. This year, is $700. This will pay off Sears for this month, right? $700 is going to go towards Sears. We're going to finish that off. Now we have this. So if we took 1477 and we minus 700, we have $777 left. Let's bring in the 100 envelope challenge. 100 envelope challenge. I would like to start with the lower, the bigger denominations. So if we got 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, and 82, and 81 leaves us with $12. Let's see if it works. 10, 11, 12. Take $12 out, and let's just do the math real quick. This, this, this is going to get chunky. So 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89 should be $684. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 49.50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 68, let's take a four, there should be a $4 bill in here, um, 
uh, 4. And if we take the 5, this should equal... I grabbed the wrong one. Is that 56 and 55? Slow down, Donna. Should be a 111 in here. Oh, we're going to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. $111. Because 55 and 56 equals 111. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 110, 111. Okay, let's put this back. Let's put this back. We're working on this one. This one. This total should be 774. If I take this money out, if I take this money out, the amount here should be 774. I need singles. I need singles. Stand by a second. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, please let this math be mathing. Oh, I feel like I just went down the rabbit hole. I do. I feel like I went down the rabbit hole. <clears throat> so if we took the $700, and the $777 is what's left, all right, one, two, so it's 10, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, one, two, three, and four, seven hundred and seventy four dollars goes inside of this envelope. We're going to just, I'm going to grab blue, right? We're going to grab blue. And each one of these are now complete. Oh my gosh. Then we're gonna we're gonna clip this with this. These two are now clipped. So important to me when things are just organized. Ooh, baby. Those are now complete. I'm gonna move to the tracker in the front. And we're going to do these. All right. Hope you're still hanging with me because these are accomplishments. Then we have, see if we can get 81, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, eighty-one dollars. We're going to color that one in. Color that one in, grabbing a paper clip, and now we've started on that back one. And we could have knocked out those two, but that's okay. That's so okay. We're good. We're good. We got, we got, look at what we got. We're, we're working it. So we have $12 left. We're going to sink it. We're going to sink it somewhere. Let's think about this. Where can we sink it? So important to sink. What? What can we sink it in? You know what? Um, $11. We're just going to sink it into... I don't know. 
know. Why is it so difficult? What's the big deal? Let's sink it into Disney. Because that's a bill that's going to have to get paid. Right? We're going to sink it into Disney. That's it. Right? So that's going to go into Disney. Let's grab it. It's going to go into Disney. We had 317. So we're adding 61. 62 now, right? We're adding 62. Because we added 50 already. Adding $12 to that makes it 62. And we had 317 plus 12. We should have 329. Just a little extra towards a bill. <clears throat> and that is in Okay, I'm going to grab the Disney binder. Oh my gosh. I know it looks like disarray, but it's really not. We're just going to add that straight into what I owe. I owe, I owe. It's off to the bank I go to pay the bills and get things done. I owe, I owe. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know this was an extremely long video. This now has to go back to the bank. I'm going to pay off Sears, so that's one done, right? Done, done, done. Sinking funds are taken care of for the month. What I want to do is this. This is kind of important to me. I want to grab this, because this is what tells me where did all the money go? So we had 42.62 saved, right? 27.85 got sank. That left us with 14.77. 12 went to Disney, right? That we know. So let's do it that way. 14.77 minus 12 is 14. 65 then 700 went to Sears bill that left us with 765 if I do the math right we got we got ooh 81 82 83 84 85 86 87, 88, and 89 is 465 into 100 envelope challenge. And that balances us out. Ooh, so sorry, two zero. And then the big expenses to, tomorrow when I do banking or later when I do banking, I'm going to be able to know where all the big expenses came from in the month of April. I know, again, this is an extremely long video, but I promise you that you there, there had to have been something that you got out from this. You had to take away something from this. This is not just a watch me save, watch me sink. It gives you ideas. It gives you motivation. Let me know in that description box below what did you take from this video. Love yous. Have a great day. And I will be back here later with the first save of May. Bye everyone.